our internet. Back when I started this year's Vlogmas, my mother suggested to me that if I ran out of ideas, I could just read a different Christmas story every day. That seemed like way too much hard work, especially as I could only think of a couple of copyright free Christmas stories. But as a special little Christmas Eve treat, I thought I'd read to you not a story, but a poem. The only poem you can really read on Christmas Eve, which is of course, A Visit from St Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore. Or as you probably know it, Twas the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hope that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles, his course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Merry Kiri Hemeti, Internet. Mm -hmm.